So I'd like to welcome everyone to the Computing Community Consortium Symposium on Computing Research, Addressing National Priorities and Societal Needs. Uh, my name is Greg Hager. I'm from the Johns Hopkins University, and I'm the chair of the Computing Community Consortium. Uh, before we, we get into the program, I thought it would be worthwhile to spend just a few minutes uh, explaining where this uh, symposium came from and, and a bit about what we're, we're trying to accomplish. Uh, let me first start by talking about uh, what is the Computing Community Consortium, or the CCC, as we call it. Uh, so for those of, you, those of you who are unfamiliar with it, we were established 10 years ago as a standing committee within the Computing Research Association, and we're supported through a cooperative agreement from the, the National Science Foundation. Uh, as a body, the CCC consists of uh, 18 council members, as well as a chair and a vice chair, drawn from a diverse collection of institutions around the country, including both academia and industry, as well as a full-time executive director and staff. The members rotate on three-year terms, as you see here, with each new group chosen through an open nomination process. The mission of the CCC is to undertake activities that catalyze and enable new and exciting directions in computing research and communicate those ideas to the public, the computing community, and the science policy community. Over the past 10 years in service to that mission, we've hosted dozens of visioning workshops and developed over 75 white papers, all aimed at articulating emergent ideas and exciting visions of what those ideas might accomplish. The majority of these workshops were in response to an open call. If you look at the, the workshops that are represented here, you can see that many of them are not what you might consider traditional computing themes. Spatial computing, uncertainty, financial infrastructure, personalized education, human computation, robotics, disaster management. Really, this is a representation of what the community sees as its future the future of uh, the computing research community. And in fact, this is uh, uh, an observation that's been made in other fora. This is a, a slide I took from a presentation on a report to the President's Council of Advisors, Advisors on Science and Technology. And there again, it's, it's noted that one of the cross-cutting themes or messages we see in these workshops and in the community itself is a growing potential for computing to make major contributions to areas that are important to our society and our nation. Healthcare, education, transportation, labor, the environment, sustainability, uh, and so forth. So this symposium really grew out of the observation and in fact the conviction that by better exposing these opportunities to the computer research community and to the science policy community jointly, we might find ways to amplify uh, or leverage computing research in even more uh, impactful and effective ways. With that in mind, uh, we put together an organizing committee from the CCC Council. We sought out speakers who could represent the exciting opportunities at the intersection of computing and society. Uh, after uh, extensive discussions, we chose to organize the symposium around three major research themes computing in the physical world, computing enhancing our lives, and controlling our personal data. After those three research themes, we put together a fourth topic. And the idea of that fourth topic is to highlight uh, potential partnerships for the future. That is, ways that we could draw these ideas together and have a discussion about uh, ways to span the public sector, the private sector, and government spheres to maximize the future impact of computing research for the nation and our society. So that's really a bit of a, a backdrop as to how this symposium came to be. It's really an effort for us to, if you will, bubble up many of the ideas that we've been seeing over the past years, condense them into a forum that uh, you as a, a broad spectrum of both the computing research community and the science policy community 
can become more aware of and engage in, in discussions around. Now, before I kick off uh, the symposium and, and turn it over to our uh, first session leader, I wanted to uh, mention uh, a few uh, organizational details. So first, um, uh, I want to point out that our uh, 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 discussions today include a lunchtime talk by Ed Wazowska called Computer Science, the Ever-Expanding Sphere. Over dinner, uh, Susan Graham, currently a member of the President's Council of Advisors in Science and Technology, will talk about her experience working at the intersection of science and technology. Uh, perhaps most importantly, I'd like to highlight the fact that we made a point of uh, inviting a number of our younger colleagues to come and talk about their work related to the symposium. So there's a poster session this evening, uh, just before dinner, and uh, so I would invite all of you to uh, visit that poster session and to engage in discussions with uh, the folks who've come, traveled a long ways, and, and brought posters to talk about what they're doing. Uh, a few other logistical details. Uh, for those of you who need it, there's a Wi-Fi code in your registration packet. I would suggest that you ignore that and you pay attention to the talks, but I know it's inevitable that people will need that. Um, if uh, sometime during the symposium you need a place to meet or uh, want to have a discussion, we have a space upstairs where you can go and do that. And in fact, on the way up, you'll notice we've got several of our white papers and reports uh, arrayed outside. So on the way upstairs, feel free to grab a report or two if you want to see, about, see something about the, the work that we've been doing. Um, also, an important detail, we are webcasting. We are live uh, as we speak. So if you have a question or a comment, uh, it's really important that you speak into a microphone or if you're a session organizer that you repeat the question so that uh, everybody online uh, can hear it. Lastly, before uh, we move on, I'd like to uh, personally thank some of my uh, co-conspirators. Sorry, we got a, there we go. Personally thank my uh, nine co-conspirators from the CCC Council who helped us put this program together, many of whom uh, you'll actually be meeting over the next few days as they introduce and, and um, uh, manage many of the sessions that we're having. I also want to put some names and faces on our support team for you. First, I want to uh, particularly call out our amazing executive director, Ann Drobnes, sitting up here in front, without whom none of this would be possible. Uh, and our equally amazing uh, staff, uh, CCC staff, uh, Helen Wright, who is back in the corner there, and Kyrie Douglas, who is uh, right next to her. I've also just over the last few months been amazing at making sure that this comes together, gets organized, and, and you know, the emails go out and the hotel reservations get made. So if you get a chance to thank them in person, I would invite you to do that. We've also had wonderful support from the Computing Research Association. I'd particularly like to acknowledge uh, the executive director, Andy Burnett. Uh, I don't know if Andy is uh, in the audience yet. Uh, and also the CRA staff, uh, Sandra Corbett and Sabrina Jacob, who you've already met because they're out at the regi registration desk uh, in front. Uh, if you have any questions, you have ideas, comments, uh, some burning thing you really want to make sure we know, just flag any of us down over the, the next few days. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to hear feedback. We'd love to engage around your ideas. So with that, uh, that is the end of my opening remarks. What I'd like to do now is to turn the podium over to Ross Whitaker, a CCC Council member from the University of Utah, to uh, open up our first session. Ross. <laughs> 